Shabazz. Right off the bat, what is that name all about? Shabazz. Well, the Nation of Islam say that black people descended from the tribe of Shabazz. So when they make the pilgrimage to Mecca, then they can, you know, Malcolm X, for example, Malcolm Little, he become Malcolm X, the X standing for the unknown, made the trip to Mecca, you know, which is very important in a Muslim's life, and then he could take on that name, Shabazz, you know. What a contrast. Most of us go through life with one name. We never question it. Mm -hmm. it never occurs to us that maybe somebody gave it to us and we didn't have any say about it. An awful lot about X. The motion picture is about the naming of names, casting off an identity, taking on a new mm -hmm. one, taking on a new name. And I guess Betty Shabazz has kept the name Shabazz. Yes. I mean, obviously. Mm -hmm. So that has now become what a family name that will it be is. passed along. That's yeah. That's her her daughter's name. Just as you, as an actress, takes on roles, you mm -hmm. take on names too, I suppose. But then you can drop them off later on. Is there anything about the portrayal, however, of? Malcolm's wife that will always stay with you, that you will never cast aside as you go on from other films to other films. Her fortitude, her yeah. strength, her dignity, her respect, love, and support, her family, and of her beloved, of her mate. Mm -hmm. And I hope that, I hope in my own life to, you know, have those qualities. And, and yet, that strength. And yet, I think some of the more amusing scenes in the film come when you meet Malcolm and he subjects you to an interrogation. <laughs> Maybe you could explain for those who haven't seen it what that's all about. Oh, well, the Muslims had, um, you know, certain criteria for men and women to be together. You know, there's no, you know, courtship or that that takes place unless there are chaperones there, you know, every day, you know. So you may meet, see each other at the mosque or whatever, but it's very respectful and it's not all this, you know, fraternizing and stuff that's going on. And, uh, from afar, he's just checking her out. The, the, your the, height? The, yeah. The, your age? Your height. Thank goodness he didn't ask about the weight. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. But, uh, yeah, your height, your weight, your complexion. Do you like to clean and cook? And, you know, uh, what do you, half a man's age plus seven years. That's the perfect age for a woman and a man for them to be mated together. So it was a lot of that. And uh, Now, I'm going to be really impudent here, but let's say that in your own personal life, you met a man yeah. who gave you that kind of a... Of, a, of an interview, as it were, <laughs> would you maybe not react so favorably to that? Probably not, you know. <laughs> I mean, does this drive them or whatever, crazy? Or only if I could, you know, uh -huh. put it back to him. Yeah. I, the Nation of Islam, not being a student of that, uh, is there a problem involving women's roles, however? Is it still like that? Uh, do, do, do feminists maybe object to this kind of identity? That I don't know. That's mm -hmm. not a question that I could you know, really answer mm -hmm. in depth because, you know, my research at that time, you know, at that time yeah. when Malcolm X, you know, was alive and, you know, and their relationship together and I'm sure it's a little different then. And now there are different sex, you know, within the nation. One had by Farrakhan, then there are a mm -hmm. couple others, you know, Abu Qas. I mean, there are, you know, a couple different sex. So I'm not, you know, I'm sh there's some difference sure. in, in each of them. So I couldn't say with any certainty. All the while, people watching you right now are thinking, mm, boys in the hood. <laughs> with I this mean, hair? Well, <laughs> 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 that is another topic. This is not a, a, a course in art history and sculpture, but in movies. But with John Singleton and Spike Lee, mm -hmm. uh, are these really two contrasting artists to work for? Or do these guys have something in common? What about that? Their vision and their commitment. They both made, well, John's made a wonderful, wonderful film, and we're all looking forward to his next one. Aren't we? Yeah. Aren't we? Yeah. And Spike has made wonderful films, you know, and just has a history of them, you know. And, um, but they're a little different. Maybe the experience of one and the, the growth that you see happening in the other. Well, you, They're both great folk to work for. You are an actress of many names. Shabazz has only been one of them. I'll call you Angela Bassett. Thank you. We are both here in New York City talking about X. I'm John Tibbetts for KCTV 5.